Hi there everyone, it's Mark from 2 Old Gamers. Um, I'm here today with the Division, uh, which is currently going a closed beta. Uh, I was lucky enough to uh, get a key after a tip off from a, from a friend. Uh, so this is it. Now, the Division is a game that I've been really curious about because it could be good. But Ubisoft do have a uh, track record of showing amazing trailers uh, and games that don't quite live up to it. But I'm pleased to say that The Division is looking pretty good. Um, I, I think it's, it's definitely up to the quality of the trailer. It's not exactly like the trailer they showed at E3 those few years ago, but it's it's good enough for me, it, it, it ticks all the boxes. So, this is my character. Uh, uh, we are going to go off and do some missions. So, first of all, we have to open up the, the map, which is pretty cool. There we go. So the map allows us to see all the missions that are available. Now, I've done the main story mission. There's one story mission in the beta. I've already done that. Uh, I can do it again, uh, but let's try and do some of the uh, side missions that are fairly closer to us. Uh, oh right, okay. Oh, let's do that. Honey, there's a cold-blooded murderer out there. Some awful lady named Michelle Mason. I guess they want me to ask you to stop her, but you have to promise me you'll be careful. I'll upload her last known location, but nobody can say I didn't warn you. Right, let's go and find Michelle Mason. So this is the first area you start the game in, uh, which is kind of like on the outskirts of town. You do actually have a main base of operations further into uh, Manhattan, uh, but I've, I've spawned here today, and you can see that you know, the infection or disease that others, you know, the cause of all this in the game, is uh, in full effect. We've got quarantine zones all over and lots of nice men making crystal meth. Oh, maybe they're not making crystal meth, actually. That would be, no. They're, they're curing. That's it, curing people. Oh, look, there's another player. So, what is this game? Well, it's, um, oh, from what I've played so far, I would say it's like Destiny. You know, this is your little tower, essentially. Gear vendors, weapon vendors. Um, you also have over here, um, that is a uh, local surveillance expert, essentially bounties. But the game seems to have more of a RPG vibe to it. Um, that map there I've already read. Let's get out into the city. Um, there is more focus on skills, uh, upgrading skills, uh, customising your own weaponry. So when I was playing uh, with Dread the other night, I suddenly realised that you know where Destiny was saying in the run up to the launch, oh you know people will see the gun you've got, go where did you get that gun? And that's kind of never really pulled off. But with the division, because you're essentially customising your own weapons out of components you're finding all over the place, you do have the opportunity to maybe make a unique looking gun uh, that's yours, which is, which is you know, I quite like that, it's very, very cool. So, um, let's go and see if we can find, so this is the main city now. Okay, so this, this is a safe, safe zone. Uh, as such, there are still gangs and looters and things like that you need to deal with. And this is the other thing I like. I think they've kind of stolen this from every so every Ubisoft game going. But this is, the GPS is almost like from the crew. So you, you follow the line above your head to go places. But let's just take a minute just to really enjoy this. Look at it. So, 
Stay cool. I got no issue with you. Let's help us. Let's help this person out. Oh, thanks. That's it's right. perfect. Oh, look. We've got some uh, new gear, which is good. Right, so you can help civilians, as you just saw. Um, which is good. And you can then look at your inventory. This is your... So your main inventory here uh, is your weaponry and your armour. Which you can uh, customise. I've got nothing there, but at the moment, this is where all your weapon modifications happen. So at the moment, my uh, right, so this is my modified AK-47 where I've got an extended magazine on, a new sight, a silencer, and a hand stock um, to improve its stability. I suppose. Uh, We've got character levels. Not really gone into pouches yet, I'm sure that's not part of the beta. But. And then you've got your appearance where you can change how you look. Your hat on and off. Windbreaker. I quite like that. Right. Yeah, look, these guys are looting. So, what we can do... So this is essentially a cover shooter. We can take cover, hit the X button. The other thing, I mean, they've really given it the size of New York City, you know, the, the skyscrapers are looming over you, it, it is fairly claustrophobic. Right, so let's go and find this murderer, she must be close. Yes, the cover mechanics and everything, nothing new, it's, it's all pretty much uh, Rainbow Six-ish type cover. Um, I, I actually think the way you move from cover to cover by holding just the X button down, so I can hold that down and he'll automatically run to cover, kind of reminds me of Full Spectrum Warrior from years ago, which is a great game. So. Yeah, once again, this is a lot more tactical uh, than uh, Destiny, and uh, I didn't expect to like this game. I, I, I re I'll be honest, I wasn't sold on the Division. One evening with the beta, and I pre-ordered the game. Um, So you got skills, so if you see a skill, which is a sticky bomb. Uh, now, smoke bombs deal disorientate me, so things go a bit.
equipment to pick up. New jacket. That's exactly what I wanted. Excellent. The one thing they've done is they've really given the sort of feel of a deserted city. It, it kind of feels like Last of Us. Um, well, here we go. Right, I've got another skill here, on, which is assigned to the shoulder buttons. Let's me pulse and find all enemies so that I can see four threats found. They're gonna like this. Here you go, boys. Whoa, that was close. Try and flank you. Uh, I think the AI is alright on the game. It's not. Take out this uh, murderer then. Oh shit. So there she is. So, what I could do here quickly, just now I've got time. Mods on this one, I'm going to change the scope over to a. So you want to get more? Let's get more. Hey, this is getting started. This might sting a little. Right. I think I'm getting the hang of this. They don't give a damn about us. Man, I'm not worried about. So the, the white bars obviously are armor. But you need to uh, open back. That's where we left off. Let's 
Let's get it up in here. Where is she? Right, come on. Oh my god, she's gonna make a shit. No, 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 why are you going up there? Oh. Oh, bugger. Luckily, the um, loading times are pretty quick compared to some games we had to put up with last year. Bang, straight in. So, uh. I kind of like that loading screen load now. You know, the, the zooming back out to the dial on your backpack. It's quite cool. Right, we need to get some more ammo. So, there's a resupply crate here. Alright, so these guys have stayed dead, that's good. Alright, come on. Let's pick this stuff up. Let's see. Right, so we got some more holsters. No. There's a civilian in the background walking around like there's nothing going on. Time, Michelle, you are going down. I think we need to use some grenades or something, like get some decent cover. She's not looking. Cover system is really good. I, I do like the cover system. You don't feel like you're getting sort of like uh, trapped or you know slowed down because you're in cover. Right, go. Sticky arm. That's not nice. I oh, actually threw it off, amazing. You ain't gonna last. I'm throwing this grenade. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Throw one back. Why are you telling me? Don't tell me. You ain't gonna last. Oh, I got you now. Oh, oh, you dropped me as well. Oh, it's all over for you. We got word you found everything you needed. Isn't that nice? I hope you didn't get any blood on your gear. It's the hardest thing to get out of the laundry. Right, so excellent. We've got some weapon parts. There's parts. And ooh, new gloves. Oh, I like the um, snowstorms resetting in. 
changes the way the whole world looks. Not like really good snow in, the, in this game, the effect of the snow is really realistic. What's down there? Right. Cool. Means okay. Another group. Oh dear, sweetie. We just got some awful news here. Some very nice people are being held hostage by some of those rioters. I oh, cool. It's like a. I suppose it's like I'll a. Just send you the coordinates. Public event. Oh, look. There we go. Did I shoot these guys? Oh, no. They're on my side. Oh, right. Okay. Your back. Move, okay. Move. Go, go, go. All right, we're going this way. Oh, take them for you. Oh, oh, come on. There's a baseball guy coming. Done. Nice there. Oh, cool. Out in the open, shit, shit. Go away, go away. Get out of the way. Sentry bullets. Why is that high now? Look there, there. It's pulseless. How many people got? Three. The sound is really good, but when you hear it, it's really squelchy. Come on. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. That was, was terrifying. Now I need to get the hell out of here. LMB fights hard. Fights smart. Sweetheart, you must have had your spinach today, is all I can say. I hear those nice people are coming back all safe and sound. 
I'm gonna make them a nice tuna sandwich when they get back here. Mm. I like tuna. I like sandwiches. I bet I don't get one. Alright, so let's go back to the base. Where's that? The... So you make up a, a sort of temporary base of operations in a big old building. Um, and it looks like you um, divide. Oh, can you fast travel? Ah, oh, cool. Ah, oh, excellent. Yeah, you divide the building. The, the buildings, uh, your base of operations are divided into three sections. So a medical, security, and technology or something. And obviously the story missions you do when you're in this area uh, unlock the capabilities of your base. Um, which hopefully would then give you better missions and intel and gear and stuff, I suppose. Which way we go? Oh, right here. No, you know, here I saw this earlier. Look, that's the um, state of your base restoration. It's a really good way of displaying it. As you walk into the base, you can see where you are. No menu, no mucking about. It's the thing I like about the game so far is that everything is up there as well. You know, everything is kind of, uh, the HUD is there for you, you don't feel like you've got to search for anything, it, it kind of just gives you all the information you need. I've got nothing in my stash, so it's like a reward so I can get. But, uh, right, well look, that's a look at the division, uh, there's an open page.